One of the most frequent questions I receive is CoQ10 versus TrueQ10. Uh, obviously, TrueQ10 costs, I think, four, 500 percent, four to five times more than CoQ10. I think in most cases, you'd expect someone who makes vitamins to say, ah, you got to buy the expensive one. It's, yeah, that's where you need to invest. Um, and that's not what I will tell you. Uh, I think if you, if you look at this industry, the folks who benefit from TrueQ10, which is ubiquinol, that's our name for ubiquinol, um, versus CoQ10, which is ubiquinone, the folks who benefit from ubiquinol, TrueQ10, over ubiquinone are the folks selling it. Uh, first and foremost, the company that makes ubiquinol. And as far as I'm concerned, the science says reach for ubiquinone. Save 80% of your investment. You can literally buy five times more CoQ10 for the price of the TrueQ10, the price of ubiquinol. So I wouldn't hesitate. And of course, you really, to get the benefit of CoQ10, you must be taking it with a high quality B complex with an, an exceptionally absorbable B12, oral B12, which I'm not aware of any other than our own. So, but you must be doing that with either CoQ10 or TrueQ10 because as important, as valuable as they are for the, the energy production that takes place in all the mitochondria and all the trillions of our cells, because remember, uh, no cell can rely on its neighbor to produce its energy. Every cell must produce its own energy. It's, it's a cumbersome process. So every cell must have adequate amounts of TrueQ10 or it can't transport the electrons that is responsible for the energy that allows me to do what I'm doing and you to do what you're doing right now watching this. So the choice between the two, there's a smattering perhaps of research that talks about a little bit enhanced absorption with TrueQ10 in certain types of extreme circumstances, but it's very narrow, very limited research. And as I said to the folks who make the ubiquinol, the TrueQ10, about a decade ago, if it really is that much better, you need to invest in the research and the science because I make decisions not based upon how much money a product can sell for, but on how much benefit that product's going to deliver for how little someone needs to invest. And as far as bang for your buck, it isn't even a consideration. It isn't even a close call. It's CoQ10 all the way. So save your money. Uh, unless you really have a, a hankering to be taking TrueQ10, taking ubiquinol, ubiquinone is the better investment. I make both. I can take either. I take CoQ10 every single day. I used to take high, high, high levels of CoQ10 every day. I now take more moderate levels of CoQ10. I take between 300 and 600 milligrams daily. I take a little bit more than most folks do. I think the right level is a couple of hundred milligrams daily for most people. If you take a statin drug, a medication for lowering cholesterol, that also inhibits CoQ10 synthesis. As much as it lowers your co cholesterol levels, it does the same to CoQ10 levels. So in certain other drugs like bisphosphonates that are the classic drugs that are being given for osteoporosis or osteopenia, uh, a number of antidepressants also interfere with CoQ10 synthesis. Uh, I think CoQ10, like vitamin D, it's one of those things that all of us should be supplementing. That as we get older, our ability to produce it suffers and struggles. And it's no wonder that our energy level as we get older suffers and struggles. So again, it's, uh, I often say that I don't sound like a vitamin manufacturer when I talk about vitamins, when I tell you that your focusing on your diet is more important than focusing on supplements, focusing on your lifestyle more important than focusing on supplements. If you are gonna focus on supplements, I'll then tell you why ours are objectively the best. So here we are talking about CoQ10, uh, and there's a form of CoQ10 that could help you spend five times as much. Um, I'd rather have you spend five times less and enjoy the benefits of ubiquinone. And, and for me, uh, I can invest in either because I manufacture both, and I choose CoQ10 hands down over ubiquinone.